I have set down a H4N. This is a Zoom H4N, which I've got on a tripod or a mic stand here. This is recording uh, with a mic sensitivity of 40. So the, the volume level, if you have an H4N, I've got this set to 40. So it's picking up the ambient noise right now. It's not broadcasting to you. I'm going to switch to this microphone in just a second, but um, it's picking up that ambient noise so that we can um, see those levels. I've turned off the auto mic levels uh, on the H4N. So what you're going to get to hear and see visually in Gold Wave are the wavetables directly from this with no uh, resampling and no changes to the levels. So it's exactly the same from point A to point B. I mean, there it's not going to change the levels of the microphone. That's going to help us to be able to see tonight what kind of a difference we can make by changing a simple fan. Can a $10 part reduce the noise in such a way that it's actually worth our while? So this is our backup drive. It's an A-RAID 3500-GP. These things are fantastic. It's a mirroring unit. So we've got a master drive and a secondary drive, and I can pull this secondary drive. It's a, a 10 terabyte um, hard drive. I pull that out, pop in a different one, and it re-images, and I have a, an exact mirror at all times of my backup. Then the server is down here, and this is actually the storage and the Samba shares and everything else. And that's generating a lot of noise too. So right now, let's just check out the levels of everything running the way it normally would. I'm going to shut up for a second and let you hear that and see that visually. Okay, so that's the ambient noise just coming off of everything, the server, the backup, everything running. I'm going to halt the server, which I've just done. Let's listen. Waiting for it to shut down. And it's still powered on, so I'm going to now power that off. Here we go. Okay, so with the server off, there is a notable difference. But there's still a lot of noise coming off just the backup unit. All right, so I'm going to power that off and we'll see how the room sounds. What a difference, eh? Okay, so let's get this out of the way. And I'm going to actually remove this backup drive. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to throw a, a little $9 fan in here to replace the stock fan. And the intention today, it's not a sophisticated tutorial or anything like that. It's not overly geeky. However, something that we don't often think about is that there are very simple and very affordable solutions that we can put into place that can help with this ambient noise. It doesn't just apply for me here at the studio, it applies for you at home. Uh, if you've got computers that maybe are generating a lot more noise than they uh, need to be, maybe a solution is to look at those fans and see if you can cut that down. Look at the hard drives and say, Hey, I've got a lot of spinning hard drives in there right now. Let's instead replace those with some Kingston SSDs, which are uh, they have no moving parts and they make absolutely no noise. They also incidentally generate less heat, which is a nice bonus as well. So this backup unit is generating, in my opinion, way more noise than I should be having from a backup unit. I mean, it's, it's my backup. It's incredibly important. However, it is just my backup. It's just two hard drives spinning away. Can't be generating that much heat that it has to be running a fan at full, capa uh, full spinning speed all the time. So the fan that I got is a pretty popular one. It's an Arctic F8 Silent. 
So do keep in mind it is the silent model and it says on the box extra quiet fan. And you can see on the back of this unit um, it does have a fan to keep it everything cool. So that's what we're going to be replacing. I feel like maybe the stock fan is louder than it has to be. You guys could hear that. You could see that visually how much ambient noise this thing was generating. It's really, really easy to do this kind of, it's not even a repair. It would be a repair if the original fan wasn't, uh, wasn't working. In this case, I'm replacing a working fan, but it's just a noisy fan. All right, so what do we have here? We've got some, we've got a tie wrap here that I'm gonna have to cut. I don't even have the correct tools yet, like scissors or wire snips. Do not do this at home. I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to say that and then I'm going to cut my finger real bad. I'm not. I'm not. Don't worry. Don't do this. Don't ever do this. I just am going to get in so much trouble for doing that. I know. <laughs> Give me a hard time, YouTube. All right. So there is the fan, and this is the Molex connector for that fan. Ideally, if I could take this outside and blow it out with, uh, with a, a canless air, something like that, that would be ideal because there's a lot of dust in there too. Wow. All right, so let's get into here. So simple, folks. But the ultimate test is going to be, I want to know... We've got that recorder recording so that we can compare the actual ambient noise that this is generating. When you get a fan, you can look at the fan and it will show you, because you wonder which, which way is the fan going to be blowing. And I would have thought the fan was blowing out this way. But if you look really, really closely, let's see if you can get a fix on that. Can you guys see that? There's actually an arrow which points the way that the fan is going to be blowing. So that's important to note. It's exactly the opposite of what I would have thought. So easy install. And what I did is I just, I measured first and this is an uh, 80 millimeter. So um, it was easy enough to find online. And as I say, it was nine bucks to get a, a hold of this fan. So let's get that in there. I'm just going to use the same screws. It came with screws too, but it doesn't matter. They're the same. So I'm hoping this is going to make enough of a difference here in this room that uh, my $9 is well spent. The A-RAID 3500 is, is a great backup drive. Check it out. I'll put links below. Um, this one was gifted to me, um, which was a real blessing, um, by one of our long-term, uh, long-time friends of the show, who unfortunately went out of business. And they said, hey, would you like that? backup drive and so they gifted it to us and I've used it ever since and it's wonderful. These are great devices. Okay, so you notice I had a Molex on the old fan, but I've got a three pin on this fan. So I've also grabbed myself a Molex to three pin adapter. So just pop your fan in there. And that's just for the A-RAID because I knew that the A-RAID was using Molex. And here we go. Come on, these adapters can be a beast. There. Not really. Just gotta line them up right. Okay. So let's put this on. I'm not gonna screw it all together just now, just for the sake of good TV, because uh, that's not really all that exciting. But even without the screws, we're gonna have exactly the same ambient noise as with the screws. I don't think that's gonna affect the accuracy whatsoever of our test. So I'm going to just put this back on my server rack, 
plug in the SATA cable, eSATA, which just goes in the back here, if I can find it. Ah, I wasn't even in the right place. There we are. And it's a full-size power cable. It's like a computer uh, cable. And if we're ready, now this is still recording. You can place it right at the exact same spot and fire up. What a difference. Oh my goodness. I have to actually make sure that this is working. And it is, sure enough, she's blowing air. Beautiful. All right, I am gonna fire back up the server because the server generated a lot of noise too. And there's not a lot I can do about that. It's an R510, they're pretty noisy servers, but let's fire it up just so that I can compare the ambient noise difference. You can hear that the backup drive alone, huge difference. Now let's fire back up the server. This can get loud for a second because they fire up loud. Still notably quieter, but let's wait for it because these servers will, those fans are going to calm down in a moment. They blow out the dust and everything before, uh, as they're just first booting up. Once the drives start flashing, that means it's booting. It's still pretty loud, but it's nowhere near. And here, you can hear it winding down. I can at least. And there she goes. Starting the boot up process. So once it's finished booting, we'll have a pretty good impression as to the difference that this has made. For nine bucks. I'm going to also be doing the same thing. You remember that my laptop computer um, had a really noisy fan, my ThinkPad. And so I've also ordered a replacement fan for that, which has arrived. I haven't gotten into that, but while we're waiting for that to boot. So like this is a really simple fix that you can just do for a lot of your devices. I mean, who would have thought your backup drive even? Let's get into this box though and see what they've sent me. And yeah, there we are. There it is. So that's the cooling system for my laptop. And that's going to make that same amount of difference for, uh, for my laptop computer. So you can get these kind of replacement parts and you don't have to replace a whole laptop or a whole backup drive to reduce the ambient noise. So now I'm going to switch back to this microphone so that we can hear with the server running, the backup drive running, how does this compare to when I first started this segment? It's still booting. It's doing a lot of reading, so it might be a little bit inaccurate. Let's there. You can hear that. It's slowing down. Let's give it just another split second here. You can see the drives are going crazy, so that means it's still in the boot process. What a difference there. I'm going to, in post-production, I'm going to just go back over. Uh, so this is the A-RAID drive by itself, just the backup, the servers off, all by itself before I replace the fan. And here it is after I replace the fan. And here they are side by side, those wavetables, just so you can see the, the difference in the ambient noise. All right, so that server is still booting. 
still going through its thing, but let's uh, let's get a look at how the uh, ambient noise all together now. So the server and the backup drive are back up and running just like they were before. How is that affected? So the verdict, for nine bucks, for nine bucks, we brought down the ambient noise quite noticeably here in the production studio. It's something, I mean, we all have computers sitting next to us and sometimes they're louder than they need to be and sometimes we don't even realize it. But listen to your computer and s s just see, hey, could this be a little bit quieter? And maybe replacing the CPU fan or as I say, switching out from a spinning hard drive to a, an SSD from Kingston Technology. Something like that would make a huge difference to the ambient noise in the room, and it just makes things so much better. For broadcast, it's going to be a lot better now. That's a noticeable difference. It's not perfect. There's still You can still hear the server, but the backup drive is no longer creating the uh, unbelievable amounts of noise that it, uh, that it was. Well, there you have it. You can look up um, your products online. I mean, get on to uh, b &H Photo Video is a great place to get stuff. Um, also, Ameridroid has a lot of great fans. Um, I've got some fans um, for my server case that I'm going to put in from Ameridroid. Um, just check what they've got. You can find them. Like pretty much any online store has got this stuff. So, uh, really, really cheap, really, really easy to replace. And we did it here.